Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our series on blend modes, we've got to the overlay blend mode, and now we're going to look at a number of different examples of how we can use that. Very, very commonly used, it's very popular, you'll see it lots and lots. And it's the first of the contrast blend modes, which means it adds contrast, which makes the darks darker and the lights lighter. And so, first of all, as an example, we'll do a way of perking up a picture. This is fairly perked up already, so you'll see the effect anyway. And normally you do a, you could do it with a duplicate it and then blend that. But an alternative, which works quite well here, is to do the curves, change the blend mode here to overlay. And you can see it's increased the contrast before and after. And if that's a bit too much, then we can always do a reverse S curve, because uh, normally you going that way you increase the contrast. So now we want to take the contrast down. So I'll put it up like that, and then that's a bit less and maybe a bit better. Okay, that's the first one. So next one is fairly similar in that the same method. Here we're going to the filters, going to Gaussian blur, turn up the radius here to get a blur onto it. As you can see, funny stuff around the edge, click on Preserve Alpha to get rid of that, and then change the blend mode to overlay. And what we get is a blur, but a blur that has been blended back in again, so it looks like a glow. So you've got the sharp edges and the blur combined together. And you can play with this, and if it's too much, of course, you can turn down the opacity as you can with any control like this. OK. Next one, let's put in a fill layer. So I'll go Layer, New Fill Layer. And we'll start off with it white, and change the Blend Mode to Overlay. And what we've got here is it, it's effectively like a very strong, powerful brightness control. And if I go from here, to, from RGB down to grayscale, then I can just change the luminosity of this. And you can see here all the, the value of it. It's going from black through to white on the fill layer, and change here the brightness of the picture itself. At 50%, it is going to be exactly as the original, because grey in a contrast blend mode is effectively transparent. So we can do this in colour as well, by the way. So if we change this back to the RGB, then we can pick a colour here. And again, there's a strong effect with this. So you can have a strong tint, but of course you can turn it down as well from the opacity to something. And it's literally a few percent is often all you need just to give a little tint to the image, give a bit of feeling to it. OK, next one. Then we're going to put some noise onto the picture. And the way we can do this is we'll start off with a empty pixel layer. And then from up here, we want to put a mid gray into it. And the way to do that is to go to the swatches tab here and here you've got presets for black white and mid gray so there you go there's an instant mid gray which as we know is going to become invisible but on here we can now apply the noise because it noise won't really appear on an empty layer which is totally transparent so i'll add noise here i can adjust it here and apply it and notice here it seems to disappear this is just the way that it works because it's showing you the noise because you can't really see the noise here unless you zoom in. So it's a sort of a fake one you get first. But then when we go to overlay, the gray disappears and the noise remains. So you go into this and you can see the bits of noise here. And again, you can control it with opacity. But it's often, a picture often looks nicer with a little bit of noise in it. It's like the old film grain. So there we go. And last one, we'll do a little bit of playing. So hit Control J, and which is duplicates the background. Then I'm going to go to Filters, Detect, and Detect Edges. But now it's kind of the wrong way around here. So we want it to be um, the other way around. So let's do a Control I. So now we've got the dark lines around the edges, which is what we like. However, we want to, to blend in, but to blend in, we'd like the, the white to disappear. So we want the white to go gray. So our technique for that is to go to adjustments, curves, and you want to take white to gray. You take the white end here and pull it down to halfway. 
and that will give you 50% grey instead of the white. And now we can take, take that layer and change that to overlay. And there what we've got is the edges here are a lot stronger. This is particularly good with architecture. If we zoom into one of these, you can see before and after it's really strengthened those edges. It's almost cartoon-like. Anyway, that's it. Hope that area is useful. Lots more things you can do with overlay. Thank you very much for watching.